Buhay everyone, March is here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's video, I'll be giving you my performance review of the all-new Luca One. I'm fortunate enough to get an early pair of the Luca Ones and I was actually been able to wear them for a couple of days and I tested them out before putting out this video and I'm ready to give my thoughts on the sneakers. So this is the first signature sneaker of Luca Donches, of course, from Dallas Mavericks and I actually have his Funko Pop here. Luca is actually one of my favorites right now who's playing in the NBA because of how shifty he is for a big guard. He's not too fast, but he plays really smart. He's a skilled player, really skilled player. I really like his back of tricks, especially his step back jumper, which he doesn't jump that high, but still gets a shot up and it usually goes in. So I'm really pumped up to give you my thoughts on his sneaker. But before we talk about the sneaker, is I'll just give a little shout out to the box that came with it. So it has the logo of Luca. So this is L and D, Luka Doncic, and it says here the Jordan Luka 1 PF. So of course this is an Asia release, so it's PF version, so it's more on the EP like in Nike. So it's more towards um, for outdoor use too. Inside this, uh, the paper comes with this logo too. And nothing too fancy inside, it's just a plain white box inside. And now let's go back to the sneaker where the Luca One's upper is made out of the Jordan Flight Wire. So Jordan Flight Wire is just a combination of a fly net upper with fly wires on top of it, which is fused. If you can see it here, it's heavily fused and the upper reminds me really of the Cosmic Unity's upper, which is also made out of the fly net and it has the fly wires on top, which makes the material very durable at the same time, a very supportive upper. I think the upper is really well thought of for Luca Doncic because he's a big guard and he likes doing side steps and those step back. So he always plants his foot laterally so that the material won't stretch that much. And aside from that flight wire, it has the fusing on the edges of the forefoot going to the side part of the sneaker which gives extra durability to the sneaker. While on the medial part, it has a more basic mesh material here, which is quite soft too. And there's a lot of fusing here near the ankle part. And even on the lateral part, you can see it, this fusing running through the ankle, going to the heel part of the sneaker. So Jordan Band really chewed this up for big guards who likes doing sidestep and lateral moves so that you'll have your maximum support laterally. As for the eye stays, you can see it's a fused material. It's not made out of leather, it's plastic. And there's a Jordan brand logo here on top and underneath it is a strap where the first layer of lacing will go through. And it has a traditional lacing system. It's very easy to adjust. It's nothing too fancy. And the flight wire is actually is fused up to this eye stays. So when you're pulling your laces, the lateral material will go up and hug your foot really well. The Luca one is a low cut sneaker, although from the outside, it kind of looks like a low mid, but it is a dual layer material. You can see the real material, which is heavily padded inside. It's a half booty inner layer that is well padded, especially around the heel. Heel lockdown, heel containment is really nice on the Luca. No heel slippage on the materials and it feels very comfortable inside your foot. And even the tongue, which on this colorway is kind of glossy. It has a purple color on the tongue. It's like an eggplant color, similar to this heel tab here which is made out of plastic. Ankle mobility is really nice. It's really made for a guard. And the pull tab in the back is stitched outside and also inside the inner booty, which is really nice, which I think I kind of complained in the Westbrook. I forgot which one, but the pull tab was just outside. So, so basketball brands, you need to do it like this, that it's connected inside the inner layer if you are doing a dual layered upper so that it's easier to put your foot in and in the forefoot it's very easy to open it up too now like i've said heel containment lockdown is really nice on the luca it also has a very big heel plate inside 
which is an internal heel plate and it really cups your foot really nicely plus there's an extra material here outside aside from this plastic piece there's this felt like material here that is padded too so it gives you extra support at the same time some aesthetic design to the Luca wants. The Luca comes with a basic insole to the sneaker and when you pull it up you can see a strobo board that is glued down to the footbed and there's some holes inside that you can peek on the cushioning of the Luca which is of course what Jordan brand is calling the Formula 23. And a lot of you have been asking me this, what does the Formula 23 feels and looks? It actually looks like a React foam in my opinion, but the texture of it is more like the ones of the ASIC gel. It's a little bit more shiny, which I have here. This one kind of feels like React, but it's shinier, which you can see from the Luca at this, this green part here. It's shinier compared to React Foam and it kind of feels like React Foam. So there's a full slab of Formula 23 here inside, which is cup with this. I think this is just phylon material, but it's very plush, which is very nice. You can immediately feel the plushness of this phylon. So the feel of the cushion of the Luca ones, if you have tried the LeBron 19 Low, it's a lot thinner and I would say the thickness of the foam of the Luca feels like the PG6. It's very low to the ground. It's a very responsive cushioning setup. The first time that you wear the Lucas, you will feel the Formula 23 inside. So there's a little bit of room for the Formula 23 to expand. That's why you can still feel it. But one thing that I would request Jordan Brand to do is if they're watching this video is not to glue down the strobo board that much so that we will feel more of the Formula 23 even though I'm feeling it right now but I think if they didn't glue it down that much you would feel the Formula 23 more since it's a very thin slab of Formula 23 like I said it feels really low to the ground so it's a perfect guard shoe so if you're someone who likes a very nice impact protection from the forefoot and heel especially for the heel. It really has a very nice impact protection with a subtle bounce in the forefoot and you really like it close to the ground for a more responsive feel. You will like the cushion setup of the Luca one. But if you're someone who's looking for a bouncier foam, a thicker foam that is not too low to the ground, I would suggest you to look elsewhere. Another highlight of the Luca ones, which I think was really tuned for Luca Doncic, is of course, aside from the upper being very supportive, is this ISO plate that you can see here at the bottom. So it's a one plate here that goes to the side of the sneaker. It's in around the midfoot. So if you watch how Luca plays, he really likes to do side steps and step backs. So if you're doing that move, your foot tends to plant like this and your ankle kind of twists going inwards. And what the ISO plate does is it gives you support and a little spring back when you're doing those types of moves. So when you're planting it, so this kind of springs back the shoe and it makes a shoe very stable when you're doing step back moves. That's why if you're a player who kind of copies Luka Doncic moves, I think you will surely love the ISO plate that comes in the sneaker. So it doesn't just give you that forward, backward, spring back, but it also gives you that side twist spring back to the sneaker. Another support that's given to the Lucas is this black rubber piece here that kind of holds up the cushion of the Lucas. And I like that they expose the cushion here at the heel so that it kind of compresses more and gives us a very nice impact protection when you're doing heel strike. Another thing that I really like about the Luca ones is of course the traction that came with it. So it's actually a zigzag pattern, more of Luca's logos pattern here around the forefoot. While on the heel, it's more of a le linear and some diagonal pattern of the outsole. And the traction of the Lucas, like I said, I've been testing a lot of sneakers and this is one of the best tractions that I've tried recently. You don't need to bring it in out of the box. The traction really grips really nicely. It squeaks a lot. And even on dusty floor, it was gripping really nicely. And the grooves are 
deeper compared to other sneakers and the rubber compound is malleable enough so that it gives you that extra bite while I think for this PF version you can even use it for outdoor use too. A lot of people are worrying that it's a translucent rubber outsole but Jordan Brand really did a good job on how they implemented this translucent rubber outsole on the Lucas. The Lucas also has a very nice lateral outrigger that you can see here that's kind of protruding and it's wider on the forefoot and you can even see it here on the bottom view of the sneaker that there's a very nice lateral outrigger in the Lucas. It's not just a small lateral outrigger so they really emphasize on the support and stability of the Lucas given this isoplate and this lateral outrigger combination. It really makes the Luca Ones a very stable sneaker. Hill to toe transition of the Luca Ones does a very nice curve in the forefoot and also a nice curve on the heel. So when you're doing hill strike and when you're running up and down the floor, it gives you a nice flow and plus the isoplate will give you a little spring back to the sneaker. For the sizing of the Luca Ones, go true to your size if you're a regular footer and half size up if you're a wide footer. For wide footers, don't worry. The Luca Ones have a little bit more breathing room in the forefoot. It's not too snug and it's not too wide either. For the price of the Luca Ones, I think it's around 120 US dollars. It hasn't been released yet, but I think the price will be around that much. If you want to cop an early pair of the Luca Ones, I got this over at ID4 Shoes. They have an eBay account or message them in IG if they're still available. I think the sizes of this are running out because a lot of people have been very interested in getting a Luca Ones. And ID4 Shoes is a very dependable eBay seller. I've been buying sneakers from them for a couple of times already and they are very easy to deal with. For my final verdict on the Luca Ones, the Luca Ones is a very stable sneaker, a very good basketball hoop shoe, but I think it will cater more for a certain type of player, which is someone that really likes a very low to the ground feel, a very responsive sneaker, a very nice impact protection from the forefoot and heel, not looking for anything that's really bouncy, and of course, looking for a sneaker that is extra supportive, especially if you're someone's doing side steps and a lot of step back moves. You will surely enjoy the Luca Ones, especially with this awesome traction. So that's it for my performance review of the Luca Ones. Let me know your thoughts on this Luca Ones. Hit me a comment down below. Thank you for dropping by this channel. This has been Marches. I'll be catching you on the next one. Cheers.